Well, today, mankind celebrates one of its greatest achievements, the first step in defending Earth against asteroid Armageddon. Oh, my goodness. Eight, yeah. seven, oh, one six, small wow. step for man, Four. one asteroid punched in the face by mankind. Three, two, one. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> NASA's half-billion-dollar DART spacecraft ploughing into the dimorphous moonlet at over 20,000 kilometres per hour. That basically was hitting bullseye. It's been a successful completion of the world's first planetary defence test. Australian CSIRO engineers sending DART its final commands before the spacecraft guided itself into oblivion. There's only three of these complexes in the world, and for DART's impact, we were the only station capable of communicating with it. DART's little brother, Lee Chia Cube, travelling minutes behind to judge if it's been successful in its mission to divert the asteroid off course. They'll get some initial observations, of course, from the Lycia spacecraft. So if there's something bigger coming our way, bigger spacecraft hit even harder. The European Space Agency will soon join the fray, launching three spacecraft for its HERA mission in 2024 to survey DART's impact on the asteroid. So that if an asteroid ever poses a real threat to Earth, we'll be ready. Yes, Brian May from Queen is an astrophysicist. And while stage one is mission success for NASA... Earthlings should sleep better. Definitely I will. We won't actually know if the asteroid's trajectory has been changed for a while yet. We'll get some pieces of that answer soon, but the, I would say the, the quantitative full answer a couple months. And Swinburne astrophysics professor Alan Duffy joins us now. Alan, I mean, you have oh. loved space your entire mm -hmm. life. W was today your grand final? <laughs> <laughs> it, it was incredible. I tell you, the, the experience of seeing that asteroid just, just come into view, it's, it's like the perfect strike at 10-pin or, you know, hole in one on golf. It was just sublime. But all of that, 20, over 20,000 kilometres an hour, a target the size of Sydney Opera High. So after 11 million kilometre journey, that is you basically hitting a $2 coin held in Adelaide and you've thrown, you know, the dart from Sydney. It's just an impossible level of well, I've only done that once. So that's <laughs> I love that impressive. you brought a $2 coin Just in case. No one knows, no one knows what that looks like. Anymore. That's yeah. small, that's small, yeah. Can, can you put into context just how significant this is for humanity? Is it a big deal? It absolutely is. This is the first demonstrated test that we can both detect and then go out and potentially deflect an asteroid. And there are asteroids out there with our name on it. We, we know that this is just a matter of time. But for the first time in our history, perhaps that of the entire planet, we can do something about it. So when will we know if we've got this technology for real? So this collision is going to take a little while to reveal how much we've been able to, to deflect the smaller asteroid. It's going around its larger companion. It takes about 12 hours to do an orbit. We think we might slow it down by just a couple of minutes in that orbit. Ground-based telescope should tell us in the next day or two. Wow. So this is always a test, but what, what would happen if Dimorphos smacked into Earth? Yeah, so this... Uh, nothing good, uh, basically. <laughs> OK. Um, uh, about 6,500 Hiroshima bombs worth of energy would go off. Oh. It would leave a crater three kilometres across. Wow. A blast wave, another 100 plus K. We want to stop these things before they hit us. It's a lot yeah. of $2 coins. It's a, yeah. <laughs> it's a, lot, a, real a lot of hazmat suits as well. <laughs> yeah, get those on. So am I right in thinking our Australia's intergalactic efforts have really ramped up the last few years? Absolutely. Literally. And is it significant that we were entrusted with DART's final moments or...? Yeah, absolutely. This is, this is one of NASA's priority missions. The fact that it was Australia that was receiving those signals, relaying the commands and, and taking that data for the world. Well, the CSIRO team at the Deep Space Communications Complex in Tidbinbilla, Canberra, as well as also operating New Norsey and WA, they did all of Australia and the world proud. It's like the movie The Dish, yeah. except this really happened. Oh. oh. Was that, wasn't that a true <laughs> story? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. The last time I heard about New Sam York Neal is when legend. I went to band camp when I was 15. <laughs> oh, I think it's on band camp. Gary, uh, is, is it a kind of a letdown, though, that, that smashing asteroids 
is, is, is like less pew, 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 and more like thousands and thousands of hours <laughs> of, of maths and Did science. Did anyone think it was pew, 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 pew? Yeah, I was pretty sure it was pew, 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 pew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit like that. I, I was making similar noises. So, look, the, <laughs> it's, this is perfection of science, engineering, maths. Uh, it is dedication of hundreds of people for, for a decade, perhaps now or more. That's what it takes to pull off the incredible. But if you trust the science technologists, you can as a nation come together and save the world. And that's what we've demonstrated we can do. If it's asteroids, let's go out and save the world and all the other threats that affect us in this century now. Yeah. Well, it is remarkable, despite Kate's scepticism. <laughs> um, I'm on board. Uh, <laughs> Alan, just, um, we know it's, it's your day of day, so thanks for spending your, uh, your night yes. with us. And thanks so much for your time. Thanks, thanks so much for having me.